Okay, see you in this week so I don't have to write the coordinates. And catch right this week. Big. Like up here, here, here or up here? At her place. Still, USB A. <laughs> USB eight. No, no sir. That is unacceptable. And as soon as we are confirmed on. Ooh. I was just trying to squish you, Remy. Oh, you're going to steal my chair now? Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Yep, no. Cool. I figured the Isaac Star was a thematically appropriate, or at least somewhat thematically appropriate, uh, T-shirt for this game. Brought to you by Yosef Yostar. Yosef. That sounds appropriate. It's Poland. Yeah. Well, it, it doesn't sound that Polish, but a little bit, perhaps. <laughs> hey, do you think? You think our detective is Jojo? <laughs> Michael and confirms to straight up. Thank you, Michael. Yeah, that's blue bear. So, good evening, Internet. Uh, Feliz Dia de los Muertos. Uh, ow, my foot is starting to cramp. Mm. And that's the spookiest thing of all! It is. My, my foot's haunted. Foot's on it. <laughs> I hear it's a real pain in the arse to do in Cobalt. To have a foot cramp? Show yourself with the foot. Oh. C plus plus makes it easy though. Hmm. <laughs> Not only do they, I think like yeah, C gives you a rocket launcher. C plus plus gives you rocket launcher factories. So yes, uh, welcome to Stone of Graves. I'm your host, Mark Amstrad, DJ Amstrak. That's Daniel. We will be joined later tonight by a cat. I mean, not, not, not Remy <laughs> or Vince. I mean, cat. Uh, yeah, she she wanted to hang out. So, uh, yeah, tonight we're going to be continuing Observer. Uh, I don't suspect there's that much of it left, uh, although this mystery doesn't feel like it's on the, uh, like, the, the, it, it feels like the climax is encroaching, but it does not feel like we're on the precipice of, of solving this or anything either, so we shall see. Last time we jacked into a dead woman, which was... Which we weren't supposed to do, Yeah, we did anyway. We weren't supposed to, but did anyway, and it was dangerous in there. It's probably part of why it's illegal. <laughs> but we did get some valuable information to help solve this, so... Yeah. 
Now we know about the monsters when killing people. Yeah. Well, we already kind of knew, knew about it, but now we know more about it. We know a lot more about it. Mm -hmm. So, let us begin. Lights, please, if you would. Very good. My old phone probably would have crashed looking at this information. And by crash, I mean we started to sell due to a battery undervolt. Breaking the first rule of his trade, Dan dove into the mind of the deceased Helena Novak. He found out that she'd been working for Adam, smuggling data out of Chiron, Inc. How is the corporation involved in all of this? Did they send the killer and lock down the building? What were they hoping to contain? Dan decided to find out where Helena was running to. The tattoo parlor seems like a dead end, but there might be more to this place than meets the eye. I didn't catch that she was working for Adam. Did you catch it? Yep. Well, I remember it now that it mentions it. That's not. That's not the right button either. What are the buttons? <laughs> button, button. The F is the button. Basement. And this room. The surgical chop shop. Just what we need. It's that bucket. That bucket over there. Okay, what is... Ah, this is what's being targetable. I should, uh... No, remote control meat hooks. Yeah. Low power. Risk of cybercrime application. <laughs> you don't say. This place is a fucking slaughterhouse. Automated saw. It was structural irregularities. There is a guy waiting for you in 102. For you, Zai. It said prosthetic. This is basic audio recording noise. I'll admit it contains information. Can we 
listen to the audio recorder. Synchrozine. collected. Okay, I guess I just have to uh, flip the switch then. Oops. July 6th, 2083. Finally managed to set up a workspace. It's not ideal, but it'll have to do. Unfortunately, the first trial proved unsuccessful, to say the least. You'd think after five years of working on this project, my know-how would be sufficient. But without my data, this looks to be a long and bumpy road. July 25th. 2083. I made some unlikely allies. They might be able to assist me in my research, help me retrieve my data from Chiron. I wasn't planning on involving others. It makes the whole endeavor even riskier than it already was. But I need to be realistic about this. An undertaking of this magnitude, I need all the help I can get. <sighs> September 2nd, 2083. Finally got some of my data back, for all the good it did. Subjects are proving unstable. 
Limited faculties, mental disorders, they just seem broken, incomplete. Uh, the latest one. Well, he, uh, he just started screaming and he never stopped. Hmm. I had no choice but to terminate. I can still hear him. Here, have a head that screams all the time. September 16th, 2083. Getting much she is. Drugs do have a decent job of keeping me awake, but the physical limitations are slowing me down. As they tend to do. Hey. I feel like the answer is staring me right in the Sweet. face, and I'm missing it. Maybe I'm not as smart as I'd like to think. Maybe I'm just destined to fuck up. Uh, no. I was a little late there. Fail everyone. Seems to run in the family. Hello. How are you? Pretty good. Yeah. Project. Oh, fuck. Shit. <laughs> I, uh. I, uh. Uh. I, I don't. I don't remember what day it is. My dreams are getting worse. No doubt a side effect of the stimulants. I just need to ask Jack to adjust the dosage. Um, what's worse is I think my subconscious is starting to seep into my waking hours. The other day I could swear I heard whispering coming from the black box. Since that's clearly impossible, I have to attribute the symptoms to sleep deprivation. I, uh, usually don't put much stock in dreams, but this one was so vivid. I dreamt of my last day at Chiron. I was back in the boardroom, the executive giving me the same condescending look, telling me to grow up, to move on. Only this time, his face was different. It was a sneering mask of contempt and disapproval. It was the face of my father. That amused me more than it should. I must share that with Wee! Hey Daniel, the, the, this amused me more than it should. First, I moved the table out of the way, because that's what one of those controls was. And then, of course, that's the hook. But this. Uh, <laughs> this is the way it just kind of slowly fell over. Congratulations, you have lowered the hook to the floor. What do you do with it?
Also, why did it keep pulling? Can you like tell it to stop after it is work? Yeah, probably, but. Oh. This looks safe. So safe. I'm not sure I'd call that night vision. It probably works well enough in the truly dark. Oh no. Jesus, feels like a great location. At least it shows you the shape of like Yeah. It's like Daredevil style <laughs> echo location looking thing out on it. Mm-hmm. Beep. Beep. Am I in the other part of the basement now? Sounds like it. Chiron is problem, not solution. I can Chiron. Oh, I don't like that, I don't like that. Womp, 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 womp. Hello, chair. Oh, Hello, cameras. Yeah, I'm worried about the chair. That's strange. Of course, that's not Hold on, I'm going to go the other way real quick. Who's going on footsteps? No. Neural stimulant vendor. He sells caffeine and caffeine accessories. Actually, probably cocaine and cocaine accessories. <laughs> you know, razors, large pills. Mm hmm. Mirrors. JPD, need to ask you some questions. Hey, Pig. You killed anyone yet? No. No. Come on, don't give me that. I can smell it all over you. I know a guilty conscience when I see one. I think I need to take the guilty about something else. Any strangers ratting around here since the lockdown? Just you, man. Say. You don't look like a regular cop. That thing on your... Oh, shit. You're a... Yeah. yeah. Hey, man. I'm sorry about what I said earlier. I didn't mean nothing by it, okay? I, I, I gotta go. Be nice if there a way to hide that device. Hmm. A class is a lie. Like, yes, there's literally no A class. B class is the best you can get. Yeah. Hey, 
What's cooking? Oh, sorry, man. <coughs> Can't talk now. I got something on the stove, you know? Oh, yeah? Smells delicious. And illegal. Oh, shit! <coughs> it's the pigs! Flush <laughs> the shit now! Flush it! <laughs> Well, that's what you do with it, isn't it? <laughs> har har. When you got poop in the toilet, you gotta flush it. <laughs> that's what you do. <laughs> flush the shit now! <laughs> Crazy old man voice. Oh, jeez. be some boxes. Or maybe a cabinet. Yeah. Oh, she's fine. Uh, my name is Daniel. And now that we got that out of the way, could you point me to the nearest exit? Oh, yes, I understand completely. Completely. It really is a maze down here, don't you think? Yeah, it's very confusing. So, about the exit? All right. Go past the noisy noises, and then straight ahead up the stairs, and there you go. Thank you. Just be careful. Don't stray from the path. You are a child of light, Daniel. Much too precious to get lost in the dark. Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks, uh, Maria. <laughs> I like the spooky green glow coming out from under her door. Mm-hmm.
Okay. Reconnecting. <laughs>